In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. This is the opening chapter and verse of the Bible. From this beginning, it was not long before corruption ensued and quickly followed the waters that came forth, covering the face of the earth in just seven chapters. But before judgment came, God sent forth Noah to build an ark to provide sustenance, protect, and shelter them from the judgment that was coming. However, when the floods receded from upon the face of the earth, God had placed a sign in the sky above, a rainbow as an everlasting covenant and a promise that God will never again destroy all life. God has brought forth his son Jesus Christ, the door that one must pass through to reach eternal life. And the way is narrow, and the light that shines through is a witness to the truth and promise of eternal life. So the seeds was really planted over a month ago when we started helping stock the blessing boxes in the low income and homeless zones. We stumbled across a nurse named Vanessa and out of all the odds she was the only one who spoke with the mayor and had it approved for the first box to be installed at Charlestown, Indiana. When speaking with the authorities of Charlestown, Indiana, they discussed how they were distressed that they were not able to get another box placed into an elderly living zone which houses all of their low-income elderly population. They were distressed because some didn't have food nor ability to even get the food. They also lacked vehicular transportation to be able to get to the store, even if they were able to purchase their food financially. However, we established and started a transportation outreach program with them to taxi the elderly back and forth from the local grocery store and also help facilitate reaching their doctor's appointments. But God had placed this on our hearts and the Holy Spirit ever since has been pulling us to help provide even more. Officials from Charlestown, Indiana Housing Authority had spoken again regarding the box in their need, but at their carpenter at this point was no longer available. God has ordered my steps and heart to lend a helping hand. This is the story of how God blessed me to make an ark, a beacon of hope, to store up all the provisions for those in need. saying hello and oh, thank you for delivering yes, i don't have youtube or tiktok or anything like that that's why i asked oh okay oh. yeah you don't mind being on camera do you no man okay okay no, well no, thanks no. again you're very well i was like man i gotta go get my camera i forgot all about that that'd be such a great idea to show people who was the wonderful woman who delivered all this good stuff for us oh, so well, i appreciate it not a problem yeah i'm sure a lot of people are going to appreciate it in the future i so. hope they do so and i know i hear one bad thing mm -hmm. um, they don't like macaroni and cheese in those boxes oh really that's interesting i'll have to definitely because, keep because you have to have milk and butter which is something yeah i thought about that See? get a little solar fridge on yeah. the side <laughs> something i don't know maybe you're making it really good <laughs> who knows who the knows? limits <laughs> have a wonderful day thank you you too god bless such wonderful people. I'm sorry I didn't have a chance to grab my microphone, so it may not sound so great right now. But yeah, it's a what a blessing to be able to have all these supplies dropped off. There she goes. 
Go get some jackets. Yes. Thank you, Barbara, for giving us some jackets today. Look at that beautiful. So let's see what we got here. Just out by the P.O. Bar Studio and picked up some, some packages here. So let's take a look. See what we got. Hopefully these are the jackets and the mail, right? Jackets and mail is what we're looking for. For the Homeless Outreach Operation Coat of many colors. Forgive me in my Really sad box opening technique. I left my box cutter downstairs 
And these scissors, well, they might be Dollar Tree brand. So you have to bear with me. And I'm sure we'll get through here eventually. There we go. There we go. Lasagna. Let's take a look. See? Hey. Whoever take this gets a promotion. I have a secure package. There we go. There we go. Sorry about my room being a mess. This is the studio behind me. Oh, beautiful. Some Bibles. Very, very nice. Thank you. Very useful. Thank you so much. Oh, look at these beautiful Bibles. So awesome. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Gloves. Look at these gloves, guys. These are nice. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, I love these. Look at these toboggans. So nice. Yeah, these are gonna be so well appreciated by so many. Then we got some more toboggans here. Amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh look, we got some journals. How perfect. And I actually talked about this before on the channel, talking about the importance of journaling. Me and Brother Bob Hagen has talked about that on one of our live streams. This is so important because you can always journal and look back to where you once were and see how God has been working in your life. It's such a blessing to be able to do that, so thank you so much for that. And we got some more journals here. So awesome, so awesome, thank you. Oh, some pins. Can't have journals without the pins, right guys? Beautiful, beautiful, thank you so much. It's such a blessing, such a blessing. All right, let's take a look at this other package we have here. Hopefully I'll be able to get in it. Stop. As much embarrassing a lack of entry. Here we go. We got this one. Be my sheet today. Some Terry for Faith package. Let's see what's in it. Let's see what's in it. Woo! Nice. I think I got me a new jack. No, I'm just kidding. Wow, look at that jack. That looks warm. So nice. Someone's <laughs> going to appreciate that so much. I can only imagine. Ooh. Fancy. We got the hoodies with the fur. And <laughs> Judy's right over there, guys. As I'm going through the jackets. So nice and oh, did you say who that was from? What is this? What is this in the letter, pocket? Letter encouragement. It is a letter. Amazing guys. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. It's been a dream of mine to be able to deliver the jackets, but even more so jackets with the letters in the pockets for those who are receiving them. That's gonna make someone's day and hopefully make their eternity and they will be able to thank you when we get to that kingdom. Whoa, look at this jacket. Nice. Looks like we're going to have some warm, warm, people. warm people. Look at that. Did you say who that was from? Yeah, um, I doesn't say on the box, you know who it's from. but I'm pretty sure Denise, thank you. Thank you so much. Nautica. Thank you for my new Nautica jacket, Denise. Uh -huh. No, I'm just kidding. It's so nice. So nice. Oh, and we got the blessing letter. It's awesome. Thank you so much. You guys have been an amazing, amazing blessing. I can't even begin to... Uh-oh. 
This is Luna, by the way. She's investigating the jackets. She's the uh, TSA dog, but she's a cat. But anyways, yeah, it's been such a blessing to get this. And stay tuned, and we're going to get this stuff delivered, and you can come join us in that adventure. So let's hit it. All right, getting back to business. You guys last saw us finishing up the sighting. Right now, I got the door made and the plexiglass is cut. It's just sitting in the door frame. Right now, it's curing because we used epoxy to fasten it in, and that's what you see going on right now. But I um, can't wait to show you guys how we are finishing it up with the roof, shingling it, putting on the final touches. So let's get after it. Hello everyone, it's Michael from Centarian to Faith. I'm so excited to reveal what we've been finally working on for so long. I can't believe how long it took, but by the glory of God, thank you Jesus, it's finally finished. And Judy's about ready to reveal it, so let's get it on. Ta -da! Wow. So this is what we've been working on for the last couple of weeks. It's a blessings box. And this box will go into Charlestown, Indiana in the elderly part of town. Um, most towns have 10 to 15 of these blessing box. Um, Charlestown, this will be the second one that they have. And um, these boxes are really good because a lot of people want to be able to help out, but they don't know how to do it. And you see one of these boxes in your town or whatever, you go to the grocery store, buy some groceries, put it in there, or just some things that you have laying around the house, like a crock pot or something you're not using anymore. Um, but it still works. You put it in there, someone else can get it and use it. Um, so they're they're very uh, good for that, and they'll be a blessing to Charlestown, Indiana. Then, yeah, this is definitely something. amazing because this provides a, a place. And two years ago, now about when we were still homeless, we actually had used these ourselves to get food. So it was a blessing to us and our family when we didn't have any type of resources or anything. Mm -hmm. But. Um, the thing that makes this one a little bit more unique and different than the rest of them around here is it's mobile. So it allows this unit to be deployed anywhere, at any time, to any place where there's a lot of need. And that's the most important thing because most of the times they're constructed as in a permanent type way to where they can't be moved around. And sometimes the situation changes in the areas where they're deployed at. So this makes it a little bit more unique and a, a lot more um, applicable to helping people and that's what really we're trying to do but it's been such a blessing it took us way longer than ever it could have expected and uh, yeah it's been just such a blessing
This is me and Rowan right here. He's my neighbor. You gonna have some food out of this blessing box when he gets food in it? Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's good. <laughs> I'm gonna take your mom's grocery shopping tomorrow. That's a food tomorrow. Yeah, all right. I got a picture of me and you together. Hey, what's up, everyone? Yeah, it's very bright and early. We're actually headed to the store right now to help out uh, Rowan's mom. She's a single mom, and she has no food. And as you've seen in the video, uh, Rowan was excited about the blessing box because of the, the food aspect of it. So we're going to go help uh, put some groceries in their cabinets. That way they have something to eat by the grace of God. So thank you, Feed My Sheep, today. Let's go get this done and get them food. Hey, what's up everyone? Sun's directly in my eyes, but we're actually heading into the store right now, JC. If you can see off in the distance, there's Mama Warrior Judy. And she's taking Sarah in to get some food with her son, Dale. So, by the grace of God, thank you Jesus for this opportunity to be able to do this. It's such a blessing. JC's Food Mart. Wow, do you guys remember when these things used to be really popular? The Red Box. Wow, old school. Makes me think of Blockbuster. King's Hawaiian rolls are the best rolls, period. There we go. Getting the groceries. sheep because without Feed My Sheep today we would not have been able to make this possible so it's such a blessing to be able to help so many people and the Bible says it's more blessed to give than to receive and to be the one who's used to be able to bless others I can attest to that being the truth but God bless y'all Maranatha. <laughs>